right in my eyes. Can't have that. Hey, Jacob, how's it going? It's, uh, it's nice and sunny right now. Doing a few errands while it's still... Tomorrow's not a day to go out. trip somewhere, maybe to the beach. I need to get my sunglasses because this is killing me. Hey, there was a pretty strong thunderstorm that came through earlier. So real quick before we go up to uh, get my sunglasses. You guys have seen the, like the five-part video of the Royals that were poorly transplanted here. Those were actually okay, but can you guys see all that right there on the right hand side? Like they're still hurting. I mean, it's been over a year and a half. It's just pushing two years now. <sighs> Jenna Fury. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> trying to not trying to make me laugh. It's kind of working. I thought we'd head to uh I don't know. I think it's up to the, the viewers to decide where we head to. Oh, today the lightning game is on, isn't it? That's right. I'm trying to think of a couple places I wanted to. Um, and Michael, I'm going to try and be live for at least 30, 40 minutes. I think I have a, a route in mind. I have a plan. It's always good to have a plan. This construction been going on for too long. Hey TL, yeah I know. I was I was live like a week ago collecting some seeds. But... <laughs> Amy Jenna. Oh, I forgot to get my sunglasses. Mm, oh, I need them though. I'll be all right. Hey, B Aviation, what's going on? So, yeah, we're just... Obviously, I'm, I might do a live stream tomorrow if I decide to go out during the storm. I mean, it's only not going to be, like, dangerous or anything. Um, TL, the only thing that I would say has changed is I actually got a... Um, I, I got rid of the white Camry. I have a Camry SE now. It's a long story, but... The way that used cars are... They really wanted that card <laughs> to sell. So they gave me an offer, maybe an offer I couldn't refuse, you know? Uh, what is this person doing? Yes, that's the left turn lane. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's going to be like 30 mile an hour wind sustained. It's not even tropical storm force winds, but... 
the rain will, you know, might cause some flooding. So we're heading north out of Venice here. It's a nice 83 degrees. It's pretty humid. <clears throat> the the worst part of the only thing worse than it being super humid and not raining in Florida is after it rains, the sun comes out and bakes all that water vapor in the air. Yeah, it's probably gonna bring down a lot of like dead fronds and sort of thing. Hopefully no branches on my new car. I decided to buy it this time, not least. 91, yeah, it's much warmer there than it is here. Oh, it's hard to see because this guy's gonna blow the red light. See that? I couldn't see it either. It's so the glare's so bad. He just didn't even. He's just lucky that there were no cars coming. That would have been a bad accident. It's crazy. We're gonna go to a place that. I've, n I've seen around, I've actually done some videos around the edge of it, but they're, they're filling it in. And I want to show you everyone what's going on. Yep, it's green now. It's just so hard to see, they didn't even realize it was green. <clears throat> Recommend the Pinter's, Cra Pinter's Crab Shack. I'm not even a seafood person, but they have good food there. A big old Coco Capitata is AKBT is... You'll find, you'll find some old ones here, but not quite as nice as the ones you'll see in, um, like, northern Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. This is a new complex they built here. It's like senior living, but no one lives here yet, so I don't know what's going on. It's kind of been, looks like it's been finished for a while, so I'm interested, I'm interested to see what happens there. Nuts. We're going, we're in the Comus. There's a little peninsula here. Yeah, in South Texas is kind of perfect because, like, South Texas is kind of the same climate as, like, Central Florida. Shaky Creek. A lot of these areas where there were condos, there used to be, like, tiki bars, and the, the, the lands were so much money they just sold out. Yeah, I'm going to be road tripping soon to the southeast, Jenna. Fury, what a what a cool name. Did you get that from your daddy? Hey Alex, yeah, thanks man. I don't know Ooh. What is that? Is that a Lotus Roadster? Hold on, we're going to the Ford dealership. Oh, swerving. My 5.0. Not really, more like my 3.0. The northernmost Valencia I've ever seen. I've seen them in Orlando doing just fine. Um, I've seen them around Tampa. I've seen them in inland Sarasota County doing okay. They do get burned. Uh, there's a guy in Lake County that has some in the Sorrento area. I don't know. I mean, I, see, I know a guy is trying to grow them into land. That's a Lotus Elise. I thought it was a Tesla, the original Tesla Roadster, because they look very similar. I'm going to snap a picture. How do I do that with this? Student driver? Oh, this is awesome. I need to get a picture of this. Can someone get a picture of that for me? Are they open here? Uh, they're probably gonna be like, who's this scrub in this old Toyota looking at our Lotus? This is... This is picture worthy. So I might have to pause the streams to take a picture, but it'll, it'll be like five seconds. Just give me one second. Sorry, this... I've seen this car before and I wanted to... Oh, they redid the whole thing. Alright, so if I pause it, I will be back in literal seconds. Oh, it's a low C4, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, so let me see what I can do here. Oh. 
Okay. Had to get a few pictures in there. I have a friend who's a Lotus collector, and I thought it was funny that it said student driver on there. I don't, I don't think it's a student driver. I think it's meant to, as a joke. I highly doubt that a two-seater lightweight sports car that with incredible handling is going to be a student driving situation. Okay. So I have to go into Publix. I think it's a Publix fried chicken night. What do you guys think? Oh. We're heading north, Lowell Road. I'm gonna take TL. I think this is uh, some of your favorite area here. We got expeditions for days. There's no more fans. I don't see any. Uh, Shelby GT500s, or just GT500s, I don't think they call them Shelby's anymore. Doesn't matter, because Carol Shelby is not alive, so. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right at Albion 41 now. It's so nice I could have the windows down. So we are leaving the Comus going into Laurel. Well, it's kind of weird that the cities kind of all meld together, so. Oh, you did? That's cool. I figured you would. That was a gun range there? That's the only downside to this area is the other side of 41 there behind racetrack is probably the only bad neighborhood in South Sarasota County. A lot of Livingston and Decora. I, I'm so used to calling it the Sipians, I still do call that that call it that from time to time. And this is the weirdest bank. I've never seen a building shaped quite like that. It looks like a a, uh, what's a pyramid with the top chopped up? Isn't that called a torus? We got double digit, 11 people. The Bunnies, Early Learning Academy. people on the road. Oh, you're taking your vacation there? Well, I mean, you'll enjoy the wind. It's a Plumeria obtusa in full bloom. Those are really nice. They're nice and compact. Regular Plumerias are nice, but they just kind of take up a lot of room for what they are. They're, you know, and they drop their leaves, at least here. They don't in the keys, but... So here we are. This is sort of like the main event. So this is becoming something, and I don't know what it's becoming, but it's not. I did some videos on Phoenix Rupacola here. There's there's a couple like varieties of Rupacola. There's like a glossy and non-glossy. This is more of the glossy version. And they had put some butias here. I talked about how it was kind of not properly done. Um, it's, it, it's as slow as those at first, but then it takes off. So there's a lot of this. There's some... A lot of uh, Shamarops, Butias, Phoenix, the different species. And you go around. And check this out. Let's see if anyone can get this correctly. Do you guys know what that is? Can anyone guess that? Palm. 
I, this is private property. I, can't, I don't want to just roll up on it. Whoa. Okay. I put the car in park here, at least in neutral, so I'm not... I wrote, wrote on the window to make it a little bit easier to see. This is a little bit glitchy. Let's let's bring this back a little bit. A little, a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that. So, see, for me, it's a small screen, so I don't know how... Uh, so this is not from... This is not a uh, 320p, really? That's not good. <clears throat> this is not from Florida. It's related to... Thranax Radiata. It's weird. This is the, this is probably the most uncommon of the palms that are on this property. Now, if you, if you look at the, the petioles, they are not split. So, it can't be Thranax. It would have to be Coco Thranax at the very least. But it's a, it's a close relation. It's actually mostly an understory palm. That's why it doesn't look that great. The leaves are a little bit shredded. And you don't see a lot of mature ones of these. And I think this is probably sold to them as Thronix Radiata. I think this is an accident. This happens sometimes. It's actually Cryosophila or Zawikii. So let me put this back on here so I can drive. And I'll pan like this. Sorry about the goo. I still haven't. Hey, camel who likes Coke. It's a lot of plumerias, a lot of silver serino mixed with green, which is not good if you want to collect seed. But it's weird, you know, this looks like a, it's a private residence. It says 800 and it's, there's a big house there and stuff. Someone's lived there for quite some time, but they started building up this collection. All right. The big Zamia furfuracea, which is the cardboard. What are if I just keep on driving? Is there an outlet here? This is a cool neighborhood, uh, Thomas. It's um, Mission Valley. Nicer homes. Uh, I mean, nicer homes in the sense that there's a lot of land, and there's it's not really like heavily deed restricted. It's more like rural living. Nietzsche of speed. Sorry, I didn't catch that entirely. What were you saying about beaches and their speed of speed of growth? This weird green wall this must have been there. These houses were built like the 80s, so this has been here for a while. A lot of like larger, older houses. Oh, Satakentia, sorry. Starting to get a little human here. So if we come, I just, now it's bright like the, it's gonna be some glare, but. So Chrysophila Warsawickii, when it's older, has more divided leaflets here. This is probably a better situation right here if I show this to you guys like this. See that? See how the leaflets, they're kind of, they got, see that silver underside on the top? They're kind of, leaves are a little bit bent. And the, the segments are very fine and not, they're divided quite a bit. Where Chrysophila Storacantha would be less divided. So I believe that's Warsawickii. It could be Storacantha that's finally shredded up from the wind. But these like more understory. They're growing in full sun. They look okay. But I actually have never done a video on Chrysophila. I don't think. Chrysophila in Greek literally means... Uh, cold loving by cryo cold and phyla meaning loving they actually are definite zone 9 palms and if you like they will be as cold hardy as any cocoa thranax or thranax even hardier I would love to do a video on that but I'd have to like go to the gate that guy's house and be like can I film your palms and then probably I mean maybe he would like that I don't know I could leave a note with my number we are at Laurel and Mission Valley Boulevard. There's, if you look right there to the, right in the center or to the left of this road across the street, 
There's a big reclinata. It looks looks like an OG reclinata, not a hybrid. So yeah, Satacentias will take off once either properly watered and fertilized. And there's a lot of thrinic, there's some Libestona. It looks like Vesipians. And the problem is there, there's these hybrids showing up and then people don't really know what they are. And there's a ton of queens, which, you know, don't, all they do is kind of demarcate fence. There's still farmland out here. I mean, we're not that far off of 41, but it's a matter of time until that becomes like a, you know, a favela. Yeah, we're going, we're heading east on Laurel towards 75 now. And there's a lot of cool neighborhoods here. Not, like, usually not gated. Nice, I mean, they're, they are deed restricted, but they're not cookie cutter. You know, the houses are custom built. I'm okay with that. I mean, I used to live in one of those neighborhoods, so. And right here is water access, so these are large houses on the, or relatively large houses on the water. This is part of Shaky Creek. I've actually gone water tubing through there. Sorry, the, this car's a little old, so it's gonna shake a little bit. Yeah, it would be cool. Hey, James. Um, so, some guys, I don't know if you, who was alive during the time when I went to film the guy who had the big Chamberonias in Venice, who like chewed me out for like filming, like, you're taking photographs of me. And I was like, trying to talk him down a little bit. It'd be nice to, you know, be able to film that Chamberonian full. I mean, they're, they're beautiful takes great care of him. He even gave me a tour of the property. He didn't know who I was and freaked out. The sweet baby Avalon, that's correct. The prodigal son. I could have taken the new car, but, eh. I've had it for about a week and a half. I put 650 miles, 600 and some, yeah, 600 and something miles on it. Get a little rest. These new new favelas here, grow on the right. Probably gonna go into this Publix once I am done here. Unless I take the interstate, Interstadt. Now Dylan's gonna be coming down in a couple days. As long as like the storm doesn't do anything. What is wrong? That's a Hyundai Elantra. 30th to the 9th. Okay. Depending on what's going on, I'm not sure. This is a new hospital here on the right. This thing is massive. I mean, it's it makes the Venice regional it's dwarfed in size. Let's see if we can get a video. They've been building this for about two years now, and that should I think it's opening in the fall. But that is a large hospital for this area, and they would, you know, this this used to be where that there was farmland, even where that Publix was. That Publix showed up around 2011. Oh wow, hey, yeah, they are way too high. It does look like an airport right now because there isn't anything down below, just kind of like open land. See those those are stable Kazi arms. I actually took a picture with uh, Dylan and those in the dark. A lot of Bismarckias. It's cool to see the tops of the Bismarckias. Some dates. The dates just don't look that good in the summer. The humidity really gets to them. More Bismarcks. And I think they put the Kazi arms in thinking that they were Bismarcks. Or the thinking, or at least thinking that they could trick the other people into... Uh, Thinking they were Bismarck's? I don't know, it's hard to say. I'll show you, there's some more Kazi arms on the other side of the highway here. They're not looking that... Yeah, this is... I'm trying to think of making sure this is the right road I'm on. I thought for a second they were on Venice Ave. So this is right turn only. We had a couple of Walgreens closed down here a few years ago. Like this Dollar Tree used to be a Walgreens, and they it's weird for pharmacies tend not to close down. They tend to once they're this would be a new town center here. This is all this was all farmland. This I mean there was nothing out here. This was just two lane road. There's the Causey Arms to the right. See them? 
wow, that one has a ton of seeds on it. But they, whoever transplanted them didn't really, I mean, they didn't do a bad job, but, you know what? There's nothing to see right there. We're gonna go, we're gonna make a big loop. So this was all, like the right hand side is all farmland. The left side was like this too. And then they built this place and they name it after some Italian thing, either that or some bird that lives in the area. Okay, see you later, Thomas. Hey, give me a call. Um, I am making a trip to this up to the Carolinas in the not too distant future. And it's kind of open ended. So I'm not sure what I'm going to get back, but we will uh, we'll try and coordinate. Sorry, this is a little bit hanging. So here on the right is unfortunate. There, I mean, this is we're talking. I don't know. It's hard to see the whole thing, but it you can I can see all the way to the interstate. It's got to be at least 40 acres hey. of bulldozed. Rita Carpus Australis. Okay. If you're there until the end of August, then I'll definitely be around. I should be around then. It's on some, uh... Oh, this is Jack Miranda. Crap. It doesn't give you a whole lot of notification. I don't want to... All, all the way out there, I didn't really want to drive, because there's nothing really out there, but... Jack Miranda used to just go to Border Road and end... And then there was just, this was like horse farm land. Now it's obviously not that. I'm gonna try and get into one of these favelas by, I think that the gates are still open because they're doing construction. We'll see what they're, I've been in one of these once. This is Cielo, which is open. Oh, this is open. Okay, let's just go in here. I've never been in here. Neil communities. It just they they buy this land, they chop it up, and everything looks the same. There's gonna be a gate here, but there isn't one right now. They do that, I think, because of construction and who else? Who knows what else? But you get an insight into these. Yeah, neo communities. I mean, these are just. They're cookie cutter. See, they have these, you know, lot lines. There's nothing special about these houses. You can't plant anything without permission from like 17 different organizations. I mean, are the houses nice on the inside? Yeah, they're, I mean, they're just, this is the problem. When you start building a house where like the garage is the only thing you can see from the road, it doesn't give you any curve. There's no curb appeal with that. Unless you're in like a car lovers community and you have like a four car garage or more, but you can see that everything's being built here. I mean, you buy a place, like for example, I mean this, like what's the curb appeal of this? You got a three car garage and then like a little side thing. You can't see anything. Like, where are you gonna, where are you gonna do? Lounge out at your, the back and look at like your fence or the side, look at your neighbor's, you know, wall. They're building these two story houses, which costs an arm and a leg to air condition in the summer. This doesn't make any sense to me. This is nasty. I mean, like, the not great looking queen. And you can't really plant anything. You gotta have X amount of grass. Oh, wow. Yeah, Candace definitely planted safe, which is good. I know, I remember watching the Canadians' uh, lightning game in Montreal, and everybody's wearing a mask, and I was like, oh, I forgot it was in Canada. I mean, is this a safe community? Yeah, but it'd be safe with you know if it was properly done with the custom houses too. It's just not in a dangerous area. And then if you just want a you know an easy basic lifestyle, a normal life, like nothing is normal about me. So like to me, this is not appealing. The only reason I buy one of these houses is for like just equity, straight equity. I couldn't live in a place like this. I would not know how to uh, carry myself. Oh, wow. 
I have been to Harbor Heights, Michael. I, I know Harbor Heights pretty well. Had friends there. I bought a car there once. Looked at a car. It, it's nice, you know. I mean, it's not as. I, it has the. Uh, there's some gated communities there, but not really. Like Deep Creek is kind of in Harbor Heights area. Deep Creek's not a bad community. It is a little bit of a cold area for plants. Like, it's kind of almost zone 9. But it's not that bad. Oh, it's raining now. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, that's the port... We call it the Port Charlotte side of Punta de Gorda. It's on the west side of the Peace River. So I'm going to try and go into Aria here. Not the casino in Vegas, but this favela here. In, they call this area North Venice now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna, if you, if someone lives in a community like that, I'm not gonna give them a hard time. I mean, these houses cost the good money, but just the style of living is, there's no creativity allowed. Because then creativity creates people that might drive down housing prices and, you know, like everyone wants to go and see the cool parts of like downtown Venice or Sarasota, and part of what makes that is the creativity. Those food crazy is there. Oh, there is a gate here now? What happened? I'm glad I went in the other one, because the gate here is... I think it's open during the day, but after a certain time. And there's there's a guard house, but there's not going to be a guard here. There's a virtual guard. And it's raining, which is weird. I don't know why. I mean, I know why it's raining. But... I guess I don't need my sunglasses anymore. Can't get in any of these other ones. These, this is, this is, this uh, one on the right was literally the where my sister used to ride horses back in 2000, 2005. I mean, you could all the way up until about 10 years ago, you could ride horses there, but no more. It's actually raining not hard, but hard enough to have to put these with like the not keep them intermittent. So here's more of that bulldoze. It says home from the 200s, high 200s, which, I mean, I guess it's probably like a, a, a kind of a duplex setup going on there. But they have, you can see all the like the electrical wiring for houses. It looks like they're very close together. Probably going to be like a duplex thing where there's two garages, one attached to the building. I mean, if, you're just, if you just want a place to live while you're, like, in a golfing community, that's cool. I mean, I understand, but I want a custom container home. I want to build a home out of the sea containers. I know, yeah, it's crazy, yeah. It is pouring. So I could have taken the interstate this exit, but I just went the back way to show you what's going on. Who needs a car wash when the rain's just going to wash the car? Might stop in the Wawa. No, do I need anything in Wawa? I'm not eating Wawa food tonight. I'm going to try and get fried chicken. From 1.2 million. Toronto. Well, Toronto area. It's craziness. I would not buy a house right now. Unless you definitely know what you're doing. I'm not a real estate expert. But I have seen the real estate crash, uh, boom and crash twice. So. Kind of wanted to clean up this car a little bit. But car wash, as far as I know, is not open. Yeah, Ty. Just on the outside, raining. It's not open, the gate is down. They're probably not going to be open tomorrow. If they, I don't know why they'd be open, it just doesn't make any sense. kind of want to go on a tractor supply and it's like, randomly window shop, but it's probably a bad idea. K 
KFC. There is no, there's no longer a KFC in Venice. KFC is kind of pulling out of the U.S. and only they're only going to be in China. Really, they have a huge following in China. The Chinese love KFC. Now it's not the same as it is here, but there is. I mean, they still have fried chicken, but they have a lot of other things that you know traditional Chinese like adaptations of fried chicken. Now, is that a Fiesta SD? Ooh. Yeah, baby. See, that's why, I, I mean, I drive two boring cars, but I like the weird stuff. I don't buy the weird stuff now because I don't have a place to, like, garage, you know, an old vehicle that, but I will. Oh, interesting. Yes, very nice. Now, do you guys want to come in? Oh, we've got 14 people. I don't know if I should go into Publix. No one's four, 14 watchers here, so classic uh, magnesium and probably potassium deficiency on these foxtails. Americans do like, they used to love KFC. Now, really, they don't. They like Popeye's chicken. So, um, trying to think if I should go into KFC. I mean, not KFC. Now you guys have me talking about KFC. Go into, go into Publix. I'll keep it running. All right. I need to get some food. Unless I wanted to get Culver's. No. Yeah, maybe. What time is it? I don't know. See here. Seven forty-one. I got home and did the thing. I'm just calculating some things here in my brain. Uh, what else do I need? Nothing. Okay. I'm not going into Publix. Let's keep on rolling. I'm gonna just get some food later on. I gotta go back to the house, do a few things. So we'll go for, we'll kind of wrap around. So one thing that I've kind of, I don't wanna, yeah, KFC used to be like the place to go for chicken, but last time I ate KFC was probably 2014. I got sick and I'm like, no thank you. Popeyes is not bad. As long as you go to like a good one. Um, Publix definitely, I, my opinion. Well, Popeyes is probably the best, and Publix is a close second. Like either one is fine. I mean, that's a Fiesta ST. They're kind of cool. They're not like super fast, but they're cool. Like if I didn't have Publix, I don't know where I would go for fried chicken. If I didn't have a like Cape Coral had Popeyes. There's one, a couple on Sarasota. Oh, it can just keep on, I just did a big circle, but, um, yeah, it's just, the problem is, in, most of them have been integrated with Taco Bells, and they don't really focus on the chicken, I mean, not that there's, like, a, I mean, there's a lot of science to fried chicken, but it's not, I had fried chicken in Georgia in, back in October, the last time I was, like, at a restaurant, well, the last time I was at a restaurant, and it was so good, and I was, I realized, like, KFC is nothing like this. This is what fried chicken should be like. Now, I did a popular video on Trachycarpus fortunii here. I don't think there's any left. I want to check and see. If there is, it's not going to look very good. But they they planted them. Oh, there is one left. Look at this. Pull over here. This sad palm here. This is why you don't plant trachies in this part of Florida. Do you guys see that? I'll just kind of just make my own little... That tricky there, I mean, that doesn't look like the kind of tricky you would see in a in a book like that. That's sad. Like it once was a nice, it was a nice plant at one time. Okay, this is another new. I've actually been in this condo complex. It's kind of boring. There's like no plants at all. It's like all concrete. Oh, that reminds me. I should have gone. I should have taken a left there. 
7.45. Hey, Dylan. Are you still coming down on the 8th? Dirty mosquitoes. That is unfortunate. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be heading out next week sometime. 16 people, that's awesome. Yeah, Trakies really need that cool... Yeah, storm will be over, yeah. Um, 16... Uh, Trakies really need that cool period, like Butias. Now, Butias don't need it as much, so that's why they'll grow here, and Trakies really won't. At least Fortunii Wagnerianus does, does just fine. Is that... Yeah, it's condensation. That happens when it's, like, humid out and have the AC on, so... Yeah, I see. I wouldn't mind waiting 25 minutes for fresh fried chicken. So something that happened about a week, week and a half ago, on two separate occasions around 11 o'clock at night, someone banged on my door and opened the door and there was no one there. Yeah, I mean, KFC is... It's all but over. There's a KFC buffet. There's a couple towns have that. Cape Coral had it. Oh no. I thought you had a stoplight. So we're going to stop by one more. Yeah, I think it was kids uh, ringing and running or knocking and dinging and dashing. I mean, I did it when I was like 15, so can't blame them, but I mean, Anyone who watches these these videos, if you're going to come to my house at night, contact me beforehand. Because <laughs> otherwise, you know, I don't know what's going on at 11 o'clock at night. Oh, what is going on here? All right. This is actually my mom's old neighborhood. I'm gonna try and drive by a house that is a friend of mine's mother who passed away unfortunately in a fire last summer. But he got, hey, Max, Lax, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Um, see, a lot of these palmettos, they were so dry, they actually started to uh, dry up, which is rare. Seeing palmettos dry up in the ground is quite rare. His, his mom passed away in a fire, um, and she had a, okay, here it is right here. See this? This is, so no, he wouldn't mind if I was here, so. This is the fire, unfortunately. This is now the palms are okay. You see a lot of mature stuff, bottles, foxtails, spindles, a nice spindle there. I, I've uh traded with him over the years and there, you know a lot of beautiful plants. I believe that's actually a Rostonia oleracea that he got from me. I'm not sure I don't positive. There is a carpoxalon back there that's flowering. It's the only flowering carpoxalon I know of that's not on the, on the west coast of I mean that is on the west coast of Florida so Hi. people here get really weird when they're just creeping around the neighborhood trust me I lived here for 11 years so <clears throat> okay so Oh, yeah, so this reconnects with Bell Harbor. I don't think I've ever taken it. I've never been back here before. Lived on the other side of the lake. Yeah, this is Bell Harbor coming up. These are our little villas. You can hear my rotors. If you guys can hear that or not here. I'm glad 15 people are on the stream. You know, I'm just kind of showing you Venice. You know, it's nice and calm before the storm. I mean, it's not going to be like really windy or really stormy, but it's just going to be a long day of rain and 
Must be three inches of rain tomorrow, which is quite a bit. This is kind of like me getting out before. Everything sort of sets in here. So. I don't get the whole Willie's Jeep monogram thing uh, on new Wranglers. They don't really have much in common. Um, the Bismarck, the one that I can remember is actually a friend's backyard. Okay, see you later, Alex. Yeah, she just, um, I think it was like really fast. And you know, it was really sad because I, you know, I caught him on top of stuff like this is the middle, this is like in the middle of COVID. And, I didn't realize that the house was still, you know, um, in that shape, but he is rebuilding it. Sad story, um, because I never met her, but I have known him for 16 years. Um, really good guy great electrician if you're in the area and need an electrician let me know because he is he is an awesome guy all, loves all types of plants like besides my family if I had to call someone around town here to like, count on you know like, that I need to count on yeah I, I didn't realize like COVID was still like kind of raging a little bit there I guess it's just because of the number of vaccinations I mean I don't know My other friend here to the left has some palm. There's a oh, their foxtail died. That's not good. Looks like something pecked into it. Unfortunate. So I'm gonna start leaping back and going to the house now. I'd love to keep on running this. Just that I got some things I got to do. <sighs> Yeah, I can understand that, and I know that, you know, Canada's going to be a little bit different than the U.S. The U.S. is, people are going to do whatever they want in the U.S. Um, and the U.S. has had vaccines a lot sooner than um, pretty much any other country. I mean, people still do wear masks sometimes in some stores, but the only place I think you really are required to wear a mask is like in medical facilities, like a hot, like hospital, dentist office, or I mean, some places don't even require it, even in doctors' offices. So, I would say it's pretty much normal. And now we're back to kind of where we started. Sunset's not really around for another half an hour or so, unfortunately, and it's it's pretty covered by the clouds. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it is summertime, and I think that if they were to, you know, do everything that's kind of outside, I don't know. Yeah, Max, so they, the one of the few palms that does branch, like, dichotomously, and not just, and that's not a clumping palm necessarily, is a hyphene, or called a duum palm, D-O-U-M. It's native to Central African savannas, like, near a lot of, like, uh, oases, or, yeah, actually, native, it's native throughout Africa, but mostly like the Sahel and also like South Africa, um, Hyphene uh, Theobacchia and uh, Hyphene Compressa. Those are truly branching palms and I can't name another genus of palms that branch. There are some that will do it like when stunted, like Dipsis lutescens. You gotta get out of my road. This car has survived 22 years of uh, any sort of dent. I don't want that to start right now. I I probably treat this car better than most people treat their new cars, so. 9.30, wow. Makes sense, middle of summer, you guys, you know, it's, it sets around 8.30 here now. Yeah, James, we always thought you were in New York. What happened? Uh, 
Thai. I don't have a degree in horticulture. I just have a lot of hands-on experience. I have a degree in sociology and criminal justice. But I should have a degree in political science because that's really what I went to college for. I just... It's a long story, but I went to three different colleges. Alright. So... I'm going to do this because I just... I have concerns. I know most of you guys that are commenting, you know, I, you guys have been on the stream for a while and would never show up in my house unattended, but because of the whole knocking thing, anyone that's new to the stream, I just don't want them to uh, know where I live. We're pretty close to the house. So... I actually don't have a garden, Max. Not anymore. I mean, I could possibly get a tour of my old garden or of some of the gardens that I help build. I enjoy that more than I actually enjoy having my own garden. Yeah, that would be a lot easier if you were already a citizen in the U.S. Alright, so I'm back at the house here. I hate to say goodbye with 15 people currently watching. I might go back out again. So, um, I'll you guys will you guys will get notified if I go back online. But I just need to uh, do some things before it gets dark here secure a few items if you will so let me do that maybe i'll be back on thank you for watching i am going to go take care of that stuff and to everyone that's new that's watching thanks for coming on america <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later